Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. So Sagittarius, this is going to be your March You versus Them reading and let's go ahead and get started. Overall shared energy is Mars. So this is all about taking action, um, following uh, your desires, feeling very passionate, gaining your strength back, your health back for some of you. This can be um, a really exciting type of energy. It can be a very intense energy, um, Sagittarius. So, you know, you want to channel this energy in the most positive way that you can, right? So um, take that additional energy and maybe make some new habits, start working out, paying attention to your health. Uh, fueling your creative desires as well will be highlighted during March. And we are going into Aries season, and this is kind of like Aries energy a little bit. So definitely, you know, start taking some action, okay, because you'll be supported in that. It's a potent energy, okay? Now, on the other side of that, when you feel all that desire, it can lead to impulsivity, you know, or um, anger, moodiness. So you really want to watch that energy, okay, during this time frame. So let's see what your overall supporting energy is, Sagittarius, and then we will go into the person you are dealing with. And if you're new to me and you don't know how this works, I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you're dealing with. We're going to look at the recent past energy for you and them, how you perceive each other, and the most likely future outcome in March. Um, the person you're dealing with can be platonic or intimate, and because it's general, it can be interchangeable, especially if you're a cross-watcher, okay? So let's go ahead and see, Sagittarius, your overall um, supportive energy is the Ten of Wands, okay? Which talks about burdens in this deck, all right? So um, it could be that you felt a sense of heaviness or took on too much or just maybe didn't have that punch that I was just talking about in the past energy, Don't didn't have that willpower, that energy, just feeling very weighed down, um, you know, very, um, like you have a world on your shoulders, you know what I'm saying? So it's an interesting energy to come into March with, but also when you get to the 10, next is the one, right? So I feel like you're getting to the end of what probably felt like a really long journey, okay, where yes, you've learned a lot of lessons, but now it's kind of time to unload, right? Person you're dealing with overall energy is the Six of Cups, which is talking about support in this deck. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Sagittarius, they are... Um, you know, trying to be supportive, I feel, of you, but it could be that they are needing support themselves or they may be experiencing a lot of, like, past issues resurfacing, particularly, like, in the first part of the retrograde. Um, I'm sorry, the first part of March, which is where the retrograde wraps up, you know, so there might be some past issues lingering there that they, that they still need to cope with or that you do. You might have a past history with this person. Um, but whatever the case is, you're being called to action during, uh, March. So let's go a little bit further and see, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So recent past energy, Sagittarius, recent past energy for Sagittarius. Let's go a little bit further, shall we? All right. So you have the Ace of Wands out. Didn't I just get done saying after the 10 comes the one, you know what I'm saying? Like for some of you, it's time to unload or you may have recently, you know, just let it go. You know, that can be really hard to do, but I feel like it's ushering in some fresh new energy. And I felt that energy starting for you in mid February, there might've been a stall in that given the retrograde was here, but I feel that that energy is picking up again. This is all about like figuring out your self-worth, um, Sagittarius, and taking care of yourself for a change, you know, overcoming um, some internal struggles that you may have been dealing with. Um, a lot of you may have been, you know, battling with issues about feeling, you know, like you were good enough attractive enough, um, worthy enough, 
You know, you might have really been in a place in the past energy where it just seemed like the obstacles were so big that you really didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I feel like most recently, coming now into March, that energy is really, really lifting in a major, major way for you, okay? And so I see like a recent re-spark of passion, a feeling of sense of self-worth, um, of building yourself up again. And it's a struggle, you know? I think you have good days and bad days, but I think for the most part, you know, you're making some steps in the right direction here, Sagittarius. So I really like that. So let's see person you're dealing with. Uh, what is their recent past energy? Okay, the world. Six of Pentacles. Oops. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So I think... You know, Sagittarius, whoever you're dealing with, they have also overcame uh, or will, you know, most recently in the past energy have had a strong urge to overcome past issues. Okay. This person is, you know, recognizing where they get in their own way and wanting to be more present in the present moment, wanting to um, put more time and energy into things that fulfill them and less time and energy into things that are long gone. You know, I feel like this person could have been really drained by um, either giving too much or giving too little in the past energy. And I feel like they were driven a lot by their fears. Okay. Uh, a lot of their shadow side showing up, but I think that they've really worked through a pat through a lot of that past energy. Okay. So that's kind of, what's leading them up into March, right? So let's look at your perspective. How do you see this person? Sagittarius, how do you view this person? Eight of Cups, Knave of Wands, the Hermit. So interesting in how you see this person, Sag. It's like, you know that this person has done some inner work and that they've walked away from things that maybe used to pull them down, used to really drag their energy down because the Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve us and that's how you see this person. For some of you, you see them as someone who has walked away from you quite literally, okay? So it could be either or. I think that there is a spark here that you feel towards this person, but at the same time, there's a sense of isolation here, whether it's this person isolating themselves from you or you, they, or both of you, okay? You see this person as like being somewhat of a loner type of vibe or introverted type of vibe. They can really get stuck there if they allow themselves to be pulled back by stuff that don't serve them anymore, you know what I'm saying? But I think that you see like the potential spark in this person um, and or like a physical attraction if this is intimate for sure. So let's see how this person views you Sagittarius. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> the Four of Wands in the reverse. The Fool. This person views you as um, letting go of things that you once really held on to. You know, if you had really been um, having difficulties in the past and I saw that energy of, especially of being able to let go. I think that they see and realize now that you have finally come to that precipice in your life where you're letting go of things that you once held, ideas you held about yourself, letting go of um, holding on, waiting, things like that. You know, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's kind of coming out of a fixed nature, Sagittarius. This person sees that you want stability, you know, for some of you family, um, to establish your roots again and have some new beginnings, okay? And I see that on your side. So their perception of you is pretty accurate. I would say they're pretty aware of where you're currently at. 
in your own emotional and spiritual self, okay? Um, I think that... You know, the other way I can read it is that they see you as, like, they want you to kind of let go of issues that have blocked the relationship so that you can have a more peaceful uh, relationship, okay, and a new beginning here. But I think that you kind of view them, if that's the case, as hard to reach at times you know, feeling pushed out or pushed away by this person. At times, you know, it's an interesting vibe. <laughs> or, you know, yeah. Okay, so future outcome. What's the future outcome for Sagittarius? The star. The Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Why the Five of Wands, Sagittarius? So I feel like in the future energy, you know, there is healing here. You know, there is bringing back, feeling comfortable again with yourself. Sagittarius, it's been so long since you felt that. I don't even know if some of you remember what that feels like. But I feel like a reconnection here and, and letting go of whatever it is you've been holding on to. And some of you, which you've held on to for so long, is this idea that you're not enough. You know? Um, but I think it's like getting comfortable again with yourself and healing yourself, being patient with yourself. Um, but then there's conflict here towards the end of March. Or some sort of competitive vibe. So what is this? What's the five of wands? Nine of wands. You know what? Stop. Either someone's comparing their life to yours or you're comparing your life to someone else. Some of you may feel really left out of someone else's life. Uh, or like that they push you out at times where you feel like they're not including you. And or someone may feel this way about you. But it, it's definitely an obstacle to be aware of in March. And it needs to be talked about. You know, um, surrender the idea that the grass is ever greener anywhere else. Um, surrender the idea that any person, place, or thing defines your value. You know what I'm saying? Like oftentimes when we get rejected by life or by a person or whatever, we think that we're not good enough. You know, it, it really tears down your self-esteem. It's like, why am I not number one to you? Why am I not valuable? And it's because you're placing your value in someone else's perception of you. But that has nothing to do with your value. Does that make sense? Like... Don't ever give anyone else that power over you to make you question yourself and your value just because they don't value you. That just means that it, it, you need to look deeper within yourself as to why you need that validation, okay? And or you could be dealing with someone that places their value in other people's hands, Either way, that's being looked at in, Sag in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is being looked at during March. And this is saying, you know, um, if you need to have a conversation, have a conversation. Okay, so for some of you, if you have felt like, you know, if you felt a certain way, then talk about it. Okay, if you feel like that's not going to solve the situation, then rest easy that healing will come your way in another form. Okay. I also sense like Sagittarius, there could be... Like something someone doesn't want to hear. 
Like maybe every time you try to say how you feel, it's shut out or it's not heard or it's not listened to or vice versa. Somebody may feel that way about you. Let's see. Let's see, go a bit further. So this person's energy towards the end of March is the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Cups. <sighs> well, <laughs> this person has trust issues that stem way, way back from the past. Okay, past betrayals, past hurt. They've walked away from it, but not really. I think that you think... You know, I think you're aware that this person kind of goes, gets stuck in the past sometimes, and they do. You know, I feel like this person is very skeptical over here, okay? Um, you know, I think that they've really been through the ringer in the past, but they've done a lot of work to overcome that, as have you. This person wants to reconcile things with uh, within their life, okay, for a few of you with you, but I feel there is still, like, lingering, um, trust issues here. For some of you, if you had a complete ending with this person, they either don't trust you or they stalk you, one of the two, <laughs> or you they, I don't know, <laughs> um, like, they just, like, really, really keep an eye on you, you know what I'm saying, um, even though things have ended. And I think it's because deep down they have a lot of past like fond memories with you and they probably want a reconciliation. Yeah, there's love here. Either that or they want to um, rejuvenate themselves and within self-love. What's the page of swords? It's the Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Ooh, my card shot out. Okay, sorry. I don't usually wait to get all the cards out, but I was getting a lot of different messages. The Six of Wands. Sagittarius. I don't think that you feel you can truly, truly express yourself with this person. I think that you're being fueled a lot by your willpower in March. And really overcoming um, a lot of struggles that you have internally. But at the same time, you're healing yourself, okay? Feeling more comfortable with who you are. But there is... This sense of like still feeling isolated at times or comparing yourself to others and you're being encouraged to steer away from that. This person over here, you know, I think that they need to um, communicate about some issues that they have going on. All right. I think that this person wants to come out on top for sure. Um, I think that they want communication, you know, like I'm getting a lot of messages about like one sided conversations. So I don't want to go through the whole cliche that always happens in tarot where I'm like, you know, and you can see this all over They're You're going to reconcile. They're in love with you. They're coming to communicate. Yes, that actually may be the truth for some of you because I do have communication, reconciliation and love here. But, so for some of you, that's exactly what's happening. But if that is the case, there is still underlying trust issues. There's still a competitive nature here. There's still a bit of isolation here, and it needs to be talked about, okay, if you're going to go forward. For others of you, it, what it's talking about is this person surrounds themselves with a lot of distractions so that they don't feel what they need to feel. It's painful. It's painful for them to feel it, you know, um, and they may have a past history of suppressing these things. 
I think they've done a lot of work though to overcome those issues. And they may finally open up and have a discussion, but I feel it's one-sided or like they want to talk, but they don't want you to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like they may want to express themselves, but they don't necessarily want to hear what you have to say. Like they want to be heard and not, they want it more to be like, uh, that, that they, that they, that you understand not that you are listening to respond, but that you're truly listening. Do you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. You may want that with them. But for whatever reason, I feel that, <laughs> that message really strongly. I think that this person views you as somewhat impatient. You know. Or that I think there's also a fear here, whether it's on your side or their side, that um, their desires will override their logic during this time frame because it is a shared energy, okay? So they may be very cautious because of that, because they're trying not to be impulsive or let past issues creep back up on them. Either way, there's a lot of emotion here. Okay, a lot. So we're at 21 minutes. I'm going to leave it there. Zodiac signs you might be dealing with. Uh, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Aquarius. Um, Aries again. Could be Capricorn, Taurus. Any of the fixed elements. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Could be Gemini. Could be another Sagittarius. Those are the predominant zodiac signs I have out, but keep in mind it could be any zodiac sign because it's a general reading. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do click on the link beneath my video. If you click on the little arrow down, it'll open up my description box. It has all the links to my website, my Facebook, my Instagram, my other YouTube. Um, where I just kind of talk about whatever is on my mind. If you're interested in following me on any of those platforms, you can click right on the link there. Uh, in addition, please do like, share, and subscribe. It is free to do so. And if you want to take it one step further, you can now become a private member for a uh, nominal monthly fee and get additional videos that you can't get anywhere else. Also, check out my merchandise down below. Wishing you the best. Sagittarius. Till next time. Namaste.